All right, guys, it is the first day of school um, and I don't have time to do like a little mirror thing. So we're wearing old navy jeans, some white tennis shoes, my school polo, and my hair because I didn't wash it. It's like a little messy bun in the back. I am running a little bit behind, not too bad, but I need to get to school um, to get our little back to school signs because um, the fifth grade teachers and I hold out our school signs or like, welcome back to school. It's going to be a great year. And then we play music because fifth grade is like the start of our school and those little babies get real nervous and the parents do too. And so we kind of help the transition and welcome them, have those fun signs, walk them in and the parents give them a hug and say goodbye. And it's kind of like you know, a better transition than just dropping them off like the other upper grades. So I am gonna get ready and I'll see you guys at the school. Yeah, look. Riding through the sunset, got a couple bumps in the road, and I'm probably gonna hit them, yes sir. Swerving all night, all the curves in the back roads, but we made it back home safe, yes sir. I'm up all night to the sunrise, making these hits like drumline. 24-7, I can't go back, no way, so we all- Alright, we're here. Are you excited? You nervous? Ish. Okay, so I have all their names out on their desk. I'm getting everything turned on, and then we are gonna go up to the front and welcome everybody, but. Hiyo! Oh, I forgot when I record the music stops. Yay! I'll record that. The other option, markers versus crayons. So if you want crayons, you're gonna stay over there. If you like markers better, you're gonna go over here. I like both. It depends on the crayon. If it's yeah. Crayola, I don't like it. You don't like Crayola? Oh, really? All right. Oh, and I'm gonna teach you a callback. So when I say high five, you're gonna put your hands up and your mouth shuts. So we're gonna practice, ready? High five. You guys are already pros. All right, so would you rather have art class or music class? You gotta choose. You can't pick. You can't choose I know. Your hobbies. <laughs> Which one would you rather do for the rest of your life? All right. On your mark. Get set and go. Go ahead and play. You gotta play. You gotta play the game. You gotta play the game. You just have to play. You gotta play. Play the game. Yeah, you gotta play the math game. Okay, you got two minutes. You got to play. So when I say high five, some of you already know this. You put your hand up, your mouth shuts. High five. Hey, put your hands down. Who was so confused? 
Who was looking for the directions of the game? We were, but uh -huh. we figured it out. Okay. So, who was coming up with their own game? Me. Okay. Well, this is math class, so. That's true. We added all the numbers. But, did you really know how to play? No. no. What was happening, now raise your hand if you, if you want to answer. What was happening when I didn't give you any direction? When I didn't give you any instructions? What was happening, Casey? Yeah. You were so confused. There was a lot of like, wait, what are we supposed to do? Wait, where are the instructions? What else was happening when I just gave you a dice and said play the game? What was happening? Okay, so some of you figured it out. Some of you worked around and used your brains and thought outside the box and came up with your own game. I love it. What else was happening? Was there a lot of noise? Yeah. Uh-huh. Were there a lot of questions? Yeah. Yes, there were. Some of you are like, wait, what game? But what, game, what, what, what kind of game are we playing? And then when I kept saying, let's play the game, well, how do we play? But... So here is the object, why I decided to do this. So go ahead and put your hands down. This is the reason, is because in this classroom, you need expectations. In this classroom, you're going to be confused at times. But what my job is, is to set you up so you don't feel as confused. Even if you have questions, this is a safe place to ask that. But if you just go into a classroom without any expectations or instructions, you're gonna be confused just like you were. So let's go over our expectations. <sighs> PSA to all the new teachers. No matter how long you have been doing this, the first day will always be chaotic. It just will. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's the first day of school tired. My feet hurt so bad. Look at that sucker. My feet hurt so bad that I can, I can't. I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I will catch you up on the whole day from start to finish <sighs> here in just a little bit. But it's now the end of the day and I'm getting stuff in order for tomorrow. And then I'm taking the kiddos to get ice cream. Did you guys have a good day? Yeah. yeah. So then after that, I'm going to go take care of Joey because he had a dentist emergency this morning. And I literally was in hives because I was stressing out about him and then getting Lila because he was going to pick her up. There is nothing boring about being in the Morse family always keeping us on our toes. First day of school, dental emergency. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so kind of an overview of the day. Um, I'm trying to cover up my school shirt because I'm sure it's gonna be hard to edit this. But overall, it was a good day. It, what, like I said before, it, it's going to be chaotic. I mean, I've known many, many, many teachers and a lot of them have worked for many, many years and it just is crazy. You never know like if your technology is going to crash or there's a storm and the cafeteria was flooding like us today. Um, yeah, it was, it was chaotic, uh, but it was good at the same time. Um, really sweet kids. A couple classes were pretty chatty, but I would rather have a chatty class than a class that just stares at you. Um, and so we started out in the gym after being outside and welcoming the families. And then in the gym, they all um, did a tunnel for all the teachers and they called out the teachers one by one and that was so much fun i got a, a small clip of it 
I was never into any sports. Like I never was in any sports. So I never got to do that. And so that was really fun. And that just amped everybody up. And um, the energy in that gym was just insane. It was so much fun. From there, we took our fifth graders back to our homeroom. And we, I'll show you the slides here in a second, what we did. But we did our binder. So we set up our binder. Um, and sent home papers that they needed to get signed and brought back tomorrow. So that was like our number one thing. Made sure everyone know, knew how they were getting home. So that was a trick that a teacher told me a long time ago, like, or not a trick, but like advice. Ask them on the first day how they're getting home. Sometimes they forget or sometimes they moved and or this is new to them and they forget. So we did that and then it was already time to switch. So I didn't even get to do any of my curriculum, or not curriculum, but like my planned stuff. But in my second period, we um, did like how you're getting home again, using the restroom procedures. We did that, talked a little bit about expectations in the class, and then we started our taco about me, which I'll show you. So this is by Brianna Beverly. And so there's many, many options, but we chose this one. So it's like an about me page. And then they chose a taco. And there was, like I said, many choices, um, but I'm just showing you this one. So I had five different choices. This was one of them, and I chose the taco, colored it, cut it out, and we're going to staple it to the top of their little About Me page and then hang it up. So my second period started on it. They didn't finish. My first class didn't even get started, so we'll have to do that tomorrow. Um, my math class, we did a mathematician sheet. Um, let me show you that one. So I'm gonna cover up their name, but we talked about how we're all mathematicians and how I struggled with math when I grew up or when I was their age and how, like reminding myself that I am a problem solver and we're all mathematicians. So they put their name here. They, she didn't finish this obviously, but they're gonna draw a picture here. One thing, I can't say that right now because it's someone's name. Um, one, what is it? Oh, one thing they love about math, math goal, a math oration, or affirmation. So like an encouraging thing that they can tell themselves when they're struggling on a math problem, like you can do hard things or you are smart, um, keep going, don't give up. And then your math strength. So this person put, um, what is that? Fractions. So that's what we did in math. That was about it. Like that's all we had time for. Um, uh, and so in focus class, which is our intervention, I had to step out and make all those phone calls. And thankfully our assistant, um, helped and she watched my class, but Joey was in so much pain. And I had to call Lila's school to make sure she got on the, on the bus and then made sure Joey was okay. I I mean, I really was in hives. I had to get Benadryl because it was itching so bad and it was like coming up to my neck. That's how stressed out I was. So first day, right? You know what I mean? After focus class, it was time for them to go to specials. So again, they're new to the school because they're fifth graders. And so we um, walked them to their specials. Um, and then after that is planning and I didn't get much done in planning. Kelly brought cookies and I sat down and went to the bathroom and ate a cookie and just learned to breathe again. So I'm gonna go get ice cream with the kids, go pick up mashed potatoes and jello for Joey, soak in the bath, read my book, and probably go to sleep by seven. <laughs> so good. Um, but I'll show you real quick before I leave our slides, what we did today and what we're doing tomorrow on the second day of school. All right, so this is what they came in to see when they first came in so we get we guys i'm tired we made their own name cards we wrote them so we could read them on cardstock turn them into name tents they took them to every single class and that helped so much they're going to do it again tomorrow so um they put their backpack and supplies all that fun stuff to do's these were our to do's if we got these done then it was a successful day add in their going potty and eating their bear binders. I'm going to cover this up, um, my school logo, but bear binders. We set those things up. Folder, Snapchat folder. This is our take home folder. 
Um, I can zoom in to show you what this is. Um, but basically it's their take home folder, their pencil pouch, headphones, um, how important they are because we use them every yeah. single day. A little bit about me, my favorites, about my co-teacher, her favorites. We talked, I mean, my general expectations, I didn't go into like where your absent work goes, where you go to get a pencil, you know, where you go to write your name on the board for whatever, all those detailed expectations I'll do tomorrow, but this is like my, my general ones. As you enter every day, this is what you should do. Um, our reading challenges that we do as your teacher. So my, if I'm asking them um, expectations and to follow those, I'm going to also hold myself up to expectations as their teacher. Chromebook, their homework, and then we did a this or that back to school. I will try to link these slides below, um, but this was a really fun game to get them up and moving. So this was ELA, and then we did our talk about me, which I talked to you about. Then we went to math, same thing, same thing. Oh, so this was the game that I showed you on the video. I just gave them dice and didn't give them instructions and I told them to play the game and they were freaking out because they didn't have instructions and that went into my general expectations of how it's important to have and know those expectations so you're not confused, you're not frustrated. Same thing, homework. How do you feel about math? We talked about that. And then they did the math and I'll link this below as well. All right, so I'm gonna end this here on my first day and I will, my goal is next week. So I'm gonna not gonna take up the camera this week, just today. Next week, I'm gonna do the second week. I'm gonna do like a whole week of school film. Um, but thank you for watching. Comment below when your first day is or if you had your first day already and how it went. And I will catch you guys in the next video. If you're not subscribed yet, I would love, love, love for you to hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Life can be messy. But there's always joy to be found. Love you guys. Yeah, look. Riding through the sunset. Got a couple bumps in the road. And I'm probably gonna hit them. Yes, sir. Swerving all night. All the curves in the back roads. But we made it back home safe. Yes, sir. I'm up all night to the sunrise. Making these hits like drum lines.